You know what? We would love to have you as a guest in the Del Marva Life audience. Here's what you do. We, we're going to promise you a great time. Okay, so bring your family, bring your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers. Book your seat by going to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab, or you can just call us at 443-880-9116. When our loved ones get older and can no longer handle the duties of day-to-day -day living, like cleaning, cooking, and it's basic hygiene, oftentimes a senior home care service will step in and help. They can take the worry off of your mind and really provide a helping hand wherever it's needed. In fact, many times home care workers can be so involved in our aging loved one's life, it's like they become part of the family. Yeah, so our next guests say they wouldn't have it any other way. Dan and Martha Hinckley are the owners of Angels Network in Salisbury. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having us. So uh, Angels Network is, is considered a sitter service for, for people who, who need the assistance. Right. What made you get started in this industry? Well, ever since uh, my mother died when I was about 15 years old, uh, I just had a compassion and knew that that was my calling. Yeah. And then I loved it. And after raising the children and working with my father as a minister, I knew then that that's what I was supposed to do with There's my life. six children, right? There was six of us, yes. It was. Wow. wow. What a response. And a lot of prayer and a lot of faith. And my family <laughs> is still with me today, encouraging me. And, 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 and that's what it takes. And this obviously nothing new for you. You also no. worked in hospice mm -hmm. uh, for several years right. in the Smith Island area. Tell us about yes. that. Well, when I first went to hospice, there wasn't a lot of the nurses or the certified nursing assistants that like the water. And you know the water around here, if a storm comes up, can get pretty br brutal at the time. But uh, they had a boat there that went across every day. I did it for five years. And uh, it, it took the goats and the chickens and they threw me on the mail boat <laughs> with the rest of them. And I became very, very, very attached to just about everybody, their accents. Yeah. I have a Southern, they had a little bit sharper, but we got along pretty good. <laughs> Went well. They Went accepted well. you. They, they accepted, accepted right me yeah. and they, they really did not want anybody over there changing. Right. So they watched me mm -hmm. with peeking through the curtains yeah. and <laughs> looking at is. me and said, <laughs> But I knew I was in when one of the watermen came in and said, I ain't you fair. <laughs> I knew I had made it was ain't you fair. So for that time on. Dan, let me ask you a question. We're, we're already <laughs> nervous about how well our parents are getting along with their age and everything. We're already nervous about that. We're going to be nervous about having a stranger come into our home. Have you got any suggestions about what we could do to... to Make ourselves feel better about this. Well, after 13 years of experience in uh, Angels Network, you uh, sort of you go into their homes. You don't try to handle anything over the telephone. You go into their homes. You find out what their needs are. And so ask people to come in so we can talk to them. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everyone in the family. We try to talk to everybody involved. And speaking of family, you know, you consider your patients family, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. They, just, just being there with them. Some, they'll say they have six months to live, and I've had them live two years. Oh, nice. And I think it is the singing and the working with them. And um, that, that what, that's what makes me a little bit different, yeah. is I do visit a lot. Mm -hmm. And I make sure everything's going okay. And that's what the families want. Feels good to know that you're making a difference. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh. That's wonderful. Dan, yes. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Wonderful Thank you having you. Thank Mark. you for having us. Thank you. Now, while we are talking families, we've been following the Black family's journey as they awaited to adopt their two boys from Haiti and bring them home to Salisbury. Mark, Eli, and Fritzner have been home for three months now, and their mother joins us next to let us know how they're adjusting to the new life. And later, the band Such Fools takes the Delmarva Life stage. Delmarva Life will be right back. But first, this time of year, so many people are playing sports and in the pool, it can be easy to get hurt. Dr. Oz has more on how to treat minor injuries. Do you know how to tend to a mild sprain or injury? Well, first, you've got to ice it. Ice an injury for 48 hours after an accident to reduce painful swelling. Now, while swelling or inflammation means more blood or fluid has arrived to repair the body area, it also slows down recovery, making joints stiffer and weaker. After that 48 hours of icing, you can apply heat, which loosens up the joint or muscles for renewed flexibility. 